Hello, I'm Robin Waldy. Welcome to Lenscraft. Today we're going to talk a little bit about layers and I'm going to give you my introduction to layer masking. The reason I'm doing this is I seem to get quite a lot of queries on the subject of masking. It seems to cause a lot of confusion for people. So this is my quick introduction to the subject. Hopefully it'll help you understand a little bit more about how masks actually work in Photoshop. At the moment I have an image open, it's rather overexposed, but I've got it open in Photoshop and I'm going to show you how you can utilise masking. Now at the moment we need to have our layers window open, so this is the layers window down here. If you don't have it open you can actually select the windows option here and click the layers. Now that's hidden it, or I can press F7 on my keyboard to actually re-display the window. Once you've got the window open, any layers that you add to the image actually appear in the layers window. So let's add a curves layer up here. So that's a curves adjustment layer. And I'll just close that window for a moment. As I've done that, you can see the new curves layer here. And attached to it is this white box. Now that's actually a layer mask. And the way to think of a layer mask is, it's as if it is a piece of transparent plastic covering the entire image and it's the same size and shape as the image and because it's transparent you can actually paint on it and by painting on it you can hide part of the adjustment so I'll show you what I mean let's take the curves layer and let's darken the image as such now that makes the sky quite nice but the foreground now is too dark and contrasty and too many shadows. And what we could do is we could actually paint over this area of the layer mask to hide the adjustment, but leave the top half untouched so that you can see the adjustment. So the first thing to do is let's click on the layer mask. And the rule here is if the layer mask is white, it shows the image adjustment through it. So it's transparent. If it's black, that it will hide the adjustment. So let's make sure we select a brush and we'll make sure we've got black paint, which we have. And we'll now set the opacity of the brush. We'll put it up to 100 so you can see what's happening. And I'm going to just simply paint a stroke across the image like so. And that, as you can see, has removed the adjustment from the foreground but not from the sky and over here in the layer mask you can see where I've painted with black and I've left the sky white so what's happening is that the sky the adjustment of the curve sorry is showing on the sky but it's hidden where the foreground is here if you want to see what the mask actually looks like you can hold down the alt key on your keyboard and click on the mask and here you can see I've missed a, port, a part of the mask here so I'll just paint that over as such and if you want to return to the adjustment simply click on the layer itself rather than on the mask so one of the problems you can get when you're masking is you forget to click on the mask and instead you'll paint on a layer no problem use the undo tool it's very simple to do now, if you decide that the layer mask here is too dark and it's cutting off all the adjustment and you don't want it to, what you can do is, instead of painting with black, paint with a shade of grey. So let's actually go for a mid-tone grey. And now, instead of black here, we'll paint with a mid-tone. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm actually missing out some of the shadow areas here so that they don't become too dark. And that's actually made for a much more natural adjustment. So if I turn the layer off, you can see that the uh, adjustment to the sky was quite strong. and The adjustment to the areas here were quite light. Now, if you think that uh, you would actually like a little bit less shadow here, all you do is simply select a lighter shade of grey and paint over here so that makes it darker or you can select 
a darker shade of grey and paint over it here which makes it lighter. Now at the moment I'm painting with um, the opacity set to 100%. A good tip here is simply paint on with an, a lower opacity and that means you'll have to make several strokes of the brush and it helps you blend the adjustments better. So that in a nutshell is how layer masks work. Each adjustment you apply to the image or each layer that you add into the image can have a mask attached to it and you can simply paint on the mask to control the areas of the image where you will actually see that adjustment. And as you build up more complex layers, you can have more and more of these selective adjustments. So let's just quickly add in a saturation layer and we'll use it to really boost the saturation and at the moment the whole image is being quite saturated and what we can do is we'll select a mid-tone grey and we'll use it to hide some of the saturation in the image now we don't want to hide too much of it but here we are several keystrokes now I'm making um, I'm hiding any excessive saturation. Um, I may actually choose to make that a little bit darker. And then if the overall effect is still a little bit too strong, you can simply reduce it as such. And there we have now applied a saturation adjustment selectively to the image. One of the other techniques that you can use as well is, we'll hide that for a moment, and we will add again the strong saturation, but this time you can invert the mask. So all we have to do is press Control and I on our keyboard, and that will invert the mask, and then you can paint onto the mask with white paint, as I'm doing here and that will selectively paint in the saturation so that I can ensure that the saturation is applied to the areas where I want it to appear and not everywhere on the image. So again here we are I'll just paint in some saturation on the clouds to highlight the nice colours in the sky and that's leading to the clouds having a nice colour but the blue in the sky is unaffected and that's the way I would actually like it in order to create a more natural image. If I hold down the Alt key, as I said before, click on the mask and now you can see the mask that's been used to selectively apply the adjustment and because of the nature of the adjustment it being a saturation adjustment, it's very hard to see the edges, so you don't have to be really precise with the image. And that's a great way to actually make selective adjustments to the image. Hope you found that useful. Keep watching for more tips.